Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and this is a Not Beer Brief. First off, if you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. My name is Sean, this is Draft Therapy, this is my YouTube channel, prestigious, I know. Uh, what a beer brief is, or a not beer brief, a not beer brief is a beer brief that's not looking at beer. So what a beer brief is, is a really short kind of compartmentalized video about something beer related, maybe beer adjacent, something that, you know, maybe we just want to condense down really quickly. So today's not beer brief is Paps Blue Ribbon Hard Cold Brew. This is 4.2% alcohol by volume. It is slightly sweet and dairy free, which I believe their regular hard coffee does have lactose. I could be wrong on that. Across the back here it says Paps Blue Ribbon Hard Cold Brew. As I mentioned before, it's a kind of a dark brown and white can. I started seeing this on shelves just, you know, within the last couple months. Uh, I know they have a hard tea as well, which I don't think I'll be trying because that just doesn't sound very appealing to me. But let's go ahead and crack this. First off, thanks to my buddy David Orr for giving me this glass from Racing City Brewing Company in Saratoga Springs. also want to take this time to thank my executive producers, Ryan Berry, Rob Santana, and Eric Latowski for making this video possible. Let's go ahead and crack this. And what I like to do on this channel is I put a nose on the can. It smells chocolatey. So the, the hard coffee had like a chocolatey kind of flavor to it. It tasted, some people say Yoohoo, alcohol, alcoholic Yoohoo. Easy for me to say, but let's see how this one is. So let's go ahead and pour this. A lot lighter than the hard coffee. Uh, that one was really, really kind of milky looking. This one smells really similar. It does have like a chocolatey kind of note, a chocolate milky kind of aroma to it. Same kind of deal. I am picking up some kind of dark roasty, dark coffee notes to it as well. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Cheers. No carbonation, really no head to speak of. That is really light. Like the flavor itself, the mouth feels really thin, really light. It almost tastes watery at first. I'm picking up on some of those kind of hard coffee vibes that I was getting. It does taste a little bit like creamy coffee. It doesn't taste like a black cold brew coffee. I don't taste alcohol in it. But you get such a thin flavor up front that when that kind of, when that real thinness, it's really indescribable thinness, it's almost water-like. When that goes away, that's when this really kind of dark, roasty kind of coffee characteristic comes up. But you also, for me, I, I get that same kind of flavor I was getting from the hard coffee that's kind of like almost a milky flavor, like a cream, uh, a sweet and cream kind of flavor. But again, this one says dairy-free, so that, you know, maybe they did something else to get that flavor. Obviously didn't use dairy, but use something else. The lightness of this one kind of turns me off a little bit, but it has such a full flavor after that initial kind of watery, really thin flavor that comes in, that roasty coffee flavor. Again, that's almost kind of overpowered by that almost kind of sweet, creamy kind of flavor that's in there as well. So I think if I had to pick between the two, honestly, I would probably pick oh, between hard coffee and the cold, hard cold brew. I would probably pick the hard cold brew. The reason being is I find that the hard coffee is a little bit too sweet. It has a little bit too much of a uh, artificial sweetener bitterness to it, which this one doesn't have because the, the sweetness is just subdued a little bit more. It doesn't have such a strong, just astringent kind of quality on, on my tongue. And that's what I dig about that. So that has been a not beer brief for Paps Blue Ribbon Hard Cold Brew. Hopefully you can find it on shelves near you. And until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer or whatever this is. Support your local breweries. That's the most important part. And most importantly, after supporting your local breweries, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. Cheers.